Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. Today I have a haul for you from Goodwill from, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago. And I actually might do two hauls. We'll see how far I get in time because I have two bags that I brought in, but they're from two separate hauls. And I, you know, I have picked out a couple things here and there that might have been Easter related, but I don't think it was too much. Yeah, the first time I, um, I got is this uh, 45 by Jack Wagner, All I Need. All I need is just a little more time to look like I did when I was Frisco on General Hospital. Anyway, he sure looked good then, didn't he? I think this came out when I was in college. Because a girl I... Well, it was like across the hall from me was like obsessed with him, but, um, I don't know why I got it. You know, it's, um, it was a moment. <laughs> it was 99 cents probably. And, uh, I don't know. I thought it would be fun to listen to when I ever hook up my record player. <laughs> so for fun, why not? A little joke. And then I got these and I think these were actually half off. So, um, I wasn't sure. I, I wish these were shelves instead of valance, uh, like, um, not valances, um, sconces, but, um, again, it's like going to be one of these things where when I get moved and I decide, I don't know if this is the, if this is what I want. Like I want the shelves, the cool, like, you know, mid-century shelves like this, but I'm not sure I want these. Um, they work, but for the blend that I'm going for, I'm not sure. And they can always be spray painted a different color. I do know that, but I don't know. Again, I just, I don't know. They're amazing though for what they are. They're really good. Um, and then you just put your candle on there, you know? So it's just going to depend, um, how my, you know, how things kind of fall into place or whatever. So we'll see. And otherwise I can always sell them to somebody else. So, um, I got this, uh, vintage photograph album. You know, I don't know why I can't. I, I I can't pass these up. They're just so good. This is a thinner one, you know? And I know that these aren't any good for, like, putting pictures in because of the acid or whatever. But I still feel like these are cool for, you know, like your, like the tucks that you guys get. Like, if you buy something from a, a reseller and they put, like, their card or some cute things in there if you want to keep. Um... You know, the things go in the side here. So, I mean, they're like three by five on this or something. But like, I mean, even like I said, just um, business cards and stuff can be kept in here. So, it's a good a good way to keep something. If you like to restore the vintage stuff, then, um, you know, you kind of have like the cool vintage thing. And you're using it in a different way. You're still just, you know, saving it slash restoring it, right? Then I have my um, roommate is uh, falling asleep there. It's uh, this will be posted at 5 a.m. and uh, it's past 1 a.m. now. I have to get this done. We had to stop watching TV. So um, anyhow, here's a rain Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer paint book. It's a uh, high quality paper for brush or markers. So. And it's never been painted on. It is from 1984. And I got, you know, I keep buying these coloring books because I said I was going to use those pages um, instead. Well, we'll see. I still might use them at some point. I'm... 
um, deciding, you know, like I've, I've been still finding everything. I find cards and I find, um, you know, recipe cards that I like to use and stuff. But I, I think I will start using some of these depending on what they are in, you know, um, when I have the space to start getting a little more like kind of creative with that. Right. So like, for example, here we go. Thank you cards that I always buy. <laughs> and <laughs> I forgot about this. So since my hair is shorter, I think I bought another hair thing too. Maybe this is the only one I bought. But since my hair is shorter, um, I don't know. Like it's hard to do stuff with it even though it seems like it would be easier, but like it took a lot just to get the curl out for this, just that. It's a lot of work and then my arms hurt. Anyhow, this is a, as seen on TV, A1 Shang <laughs> braiding tool. It, I, I thought, why not? I'm gonna try it, we'll see. It was 50 cents. And maybe it was a quarter, but I think it was 50 cents. Um, and it has, um, here we go. It has the, like the picture on how to do your hair. So I'll try that. Oh, and I got a bag of pens cause I like my, my colored pens. And these are pink and purple, three of each. And if they don't work, I'm going to be ticked. But these look like they're decent pens, so they're Paper Mate Ink Joy. So I got that. Um, I mean, technically it was six pens for a buck ninety nine. But the way I look at it, too, is that um, anything I buy at Goodwill goes toward my um, bonus, like for every hundred dollars, you get a $5 thing. I think that's what it is. So I kind of look at it big picture. Um, and then I bought these cause these are always good to have. I use these for everything and you know, I'll also use them in my booth if I need to. So I got such a cutie. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Look at this. Little, um, what, is that maybe like a Yorkie? I don't think, I don't know, because it's a puppy. It's adorable. Um, I think it might be a Yorkie. I don't know. With the little flowers. It's so cute. And I uh, just thought it was something that somebody might like, because I know, um, you know, there's a lot of dog people. And then, of course, I've got more, um, like, note cards. It depends. This might have been the color of the day. I don't know. Otherwise, I just grabbed it because, um, so I got note cards. Depends on how many I get for the price. I have a limit. And so, we'll, you know, I always work that out. So, and then here's some more note cards. And then this is like a note card set, five each of two designs with envelopes. This is so cool. And I was like, oh man, I might even want to sell this set, you know, to someone out there. But then I was like, no, maybe I'll um, even keep this set to use for myself to write notes to people or cards or whatever. And I was like, eh, I'll probably end up just doing what I said I was going to originally do. I don't know. They're so pretty though. Like both of the pictures. So like that. Then I got these, um, uh, what are they called? The cat's meow. Now I'll say I didn't, I, I, I think I watched it and like, um, Jocelyn was, um, selling them 
or buying them and she was saying how you know they're collectible so i was like oh okay i'll i'll remember that and then i don't go looking for them but if i find them i you know i grab them so i found some i think at the bins or something and i i did sell them um not for like you know big big money or anything well anyhow then i found these um one is from bit uh, one is a, a uh well they're both first of all they're both lighthouses and i know i got lighthouse people so um it's it can be taken different ways um as the, you know, pieces that go with other pieces or like however it is, whatever it is. Um, like this piece right here, this one alone has a, a price tag on it originally $14.95. And uh, this one doesn't have one on it. So anyway, so um, this one is... Um, up in uh, Fish Creek, Wisconsin, just past uh, Green Bay. It's like in the peninsula. Um, and then this is um, Milwaukee. It's the Milwaukee Channel North Pier Light. So I thought that was cool. Um, maybe somebody collects these, you know, will want something that's further away. You know, it's these cat meows thing. Cats meow and they all have the little black cat somewhere. See? It's kind of cute. And then I got this. I thought, well, you know, um, my uh, Boho girls would probably like this. And, you know, I don't know, like, that this is old or new um, fabric. But, you know, I just thought it was cool. It says best friends and laugh and love and so just different you know, so I thought that was neat. And I, I can't even believe that I found this out in the wild. And this will um, be staying with me. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't look at the cover even. Oh. I'm so happy. It's a syndicate. So, um, yeah, I'm just super so, so st stoked about this one. Um, and so I probably think I will do, I'm going to roll right into my next one because there's something that goes with this, which is funny because it's at a different store. But anyhow, you guys, <laughs> oh, so excited. Look at how cute those are. Oh, I love it. Um, and then I got these. I, um, these are the kind of spoons I love. And I might have grabbed every single one that I saw. Um, which it was, um, there were a lot of them. Let's see. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Is that right? Three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven. And they are. Um, what does it say here? It says something stainless. It might say Wallace. I'm not sure. I don't really care what it says. It's um, I love these for soup or for ice cream. I love these like bigger spoons like that. The round soup spoons, you know, chili and stuff like that. I'll use these for everything. I just love these. So I got them. <laughs> I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I love them. Love them. Okay. Now next, uh, the, we'll just go right into the next, the next one it was another haul at a different store. And, um, it was, this was actually the day before and I, I can't believe that I found this either. I, I've never had good, I, good luck finding stuff like this at, and these are Goodwills. Oh, I was like, what? So, um, I am, um, pretty sure. 
I'm keeping this because I, I found it and it's, it's awesome. And it'll be cheaper because I found it. And I think that it's not Mary Mushroom, I know that, but it, and neither is this. So they like go together more. And they're, you know, even though they're different, they're, I love them. And I think there's actually one other thing in here too that goes with that. Um, then this is, um, so it's like almost like a tablecloth. See how it's got the, it's got like the, on, on the corners, the beads right there. And then right here and here. And it says Graham Candia, made in India, 100% cotton. And then it also says Graham Candia um, on here. So I'm going to have to check this out. It needs to be cleaned. And it, oh, well, that's, is that like that on that one too? I didn't see something on the end of that one. Um, no, it's just going to stay like this on the very end. I didn't see that on there. Oh, yeah. Let's see if it's on all the way. You know, sometimes, like, when they have these beads, there can be, like, a dick, one, like, little, oh, no, there we go. Like, a one distinct thing missing. But they all got their little danglies, the corners. So that's super cool. And it's purple. Really neat design. And it is like that long. And it's not quite as, it might be twice as long as it is um, wide. I'm not sure. Hand wash separately in cool water. So I am not sure. And I will, um, you know, obviously measure it when I, when I need to. Uh, so I like that, um, color and the design. So there's that. Then I think I'm going to have a, um, a, um, linen sale coming up. Didn't I just, I feel like I just had one, but I mean, I guess I'm doing pretty well with certain things. So anyhow, this is so cool. And there are two of them. And I, I mean, maybe it's new to me because like, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm real domestic. I, I mean, I'm, you know, I know some stuff. Um, kitchen isn't my favorite, you know, stuff. But, like, look at this. Um, it's like a four-way doily, or a, a like, high pad or doily. I don't know. It's got the little hook. So, you got your uh, butterfly. You got your little flower. And you got your little strawberry. And you got your little pear. And it's it's all on this this one thing. You see? How it's all, like, it's all one. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then this one is brown, and it's got the um, butterfly, and then the flower, or leaf, and then the uh, strawberry, and then the pear. So it's just a different color story. So I thought that was kind of cool, different. Then I got some uh, recipe cards, you know, because like I said, I always get these when I find them, when I, you know. And then this, okay, so I still have in my car stuff from the estate sale that I went to. So um, maybe I'll have to bring that in and have that be the Monday haul, maybe. We'll see. Um, but anyhow, um, it, th this I got, I think, because that was like a couple weeks ago. I think I got these like the same day or within two days of each other. And that like made me decide I'm going to do my bathroom in kitschy, retro kitschy kind of whatever. Because I had found one of these 
a pink one on my favorite color. And I forget who got it. Um, might be Lois Hoover or Lynn. It might be Lois. I don't know. Anyhow, I don't know why. I, I can't remember so many things, but for some reason, I don't know. Um, anyhow, when I got rid of that, I was like, oh man, I really liked it. But I had no, no need for it. No, whatever. Well, now, now I'm like, and blue's not even like my color, but I found this trash, like waste basket and it's pink. And I'm like, if I keep this and then I, then I can mix the colors and then it makes sense and it'll work out. And so this is from, um, Wolf with two Fs, Wolf Pro Products Company, New York, New York, USA. And, um, so it would hold, there's the hooks, you know, or the spots that would hold, it would go on the wall. You put your, your tissue in there and then <laughs> put it and you can just have it on the wall. I love this so much. Ah, I love this. I mean, how many places do you go and you always have, it's always on the toilet and I'm not a fan of that. Like, I just want other stuff there. So, isn't that cute? That's gonna, it's totally retro. See, it goes on the wall. So, um, anyway, and then... Oh yeah, this so this is what I was talking about. Then I found I I found more mushroom stuff, you guys. And I'm like I you know, like I haven't been finding it myself. So um let's see. Cause there is a sticker under here. And a a stamp number or a number stamped. It's this Fred Roberts company made in Japan. Fred Roberts? Isn't that like a high-end jeweler? Well, let's just see where the... I don't remember if there was a lid or not. Or maybe this is... I don't know. There might not be one. And that might be why I got it. I don't remember. We'll see. I'll just find out when I'm going through it more. It might have just been this, and that's fine too, because what do I care? But look, you guys, it's, again, this is not, this totally goes with this. This is not Mary Mushroom either. And this was at two different Goodwills, two different days. But I'm pretty sure that I've got, like, you know, we got it going on. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about that. You guys, I'm so excited about that recipe box for sure. Um, this does have a chip right here, but it's for me. What do I care? And again, Fred Roberts, made in Japan. Very excited about that. This, um, it will be for somebody else. Um, it is, it's doesn't have a stopper and it is I think I only have just the pepper I never did find the salt and I did look um it doesn't need to be cleaned up it's like got dried pepper all over it but look the top has a really neat decoration and then it's got you know what me me roadrunner it does say New Mexico but it's got the roadrunner a roadrunner so yeah, this is um, cute, especially if you are a Roadrunner collector. And then I got these um, this one is a single plate and uh, of course they put the tag right over the information because it is restaurant wear and you know I've been trying like I'm like I'm not gonna buy all the restaurant wear anymore because 
first of all, restaurant wear is heavy. Second of all, if you don't know exactly what somebody else is looking for, you don't want to get stuck with, with a lot of this stuff. Um, but so I buy, I buy random pieces and I usually do all right. This is Shenango and I don't know. It's a pretty, I think it's an older piece because this is a different, um, little emblem than I've ever seen. But anyhow, and it is pretty worn, but this design I've never seen. So I thought this would be really cool under a plant because it's a super cool design and you know, it's just different. I like mixing it up. So even if I ended up keeping that, that would be okay. Then I got a Tanala, well, a couple of, and I say Tanala, loosely say the word Tanala. Um, they're from Mexico. They are somewhat signed, uh, I guess. They're signed with an S. Um, and it just says S Mexico, or M-E-X, anyhow. And, uh, and then it, so somebody used some string. They've got the hooks here and all that jazz. And these are really cool. So they are two different designs. And so, you, you know, that looks, and uh, of course there's like some old sticker. Oh, it's like an old price tag from somewhere. This is old and dry. Well, I want to at least get some of it off so it doesn't look so, um, like, because it looked like the, there was a chip. But the the thing is, there's two different designs. The shape of the, um, the shapes of the plates are the same, but you could, like, stagger them and then look how you got these different designs. Or you could put one up on, and one down. See how they got the different designs? Very cool. And then there's the F Mexico and a little smaller on, on that one, S Mexico. So very different shape too, you know? So there's that. Then, oh, I had something stuck on me. I don't know where it went. Well, I'll wake up with it somewhere. Uh, then I got, um, cause yeah, I always do get these, um, this is a, a turquoise, um, table cloth and I've been just deciding to only get them when I find them. Um, because you know, you can, you can get them at the Goodwill, you know, for, um, I mean at the Dollar Tree for 90 or dollar, you know, so 99 cents, but it was probably half off. That day, I think I was trying, I'm trying to just get stuff like that half off day. And then I got some um, tissue paper, although it says love, love, love. I don't care what, you know, that doesn't matter to me. I'll just be using it in um, my packing and stuff. So anyway, just some love paper. Um, then I got, I got this, um, now... You guys know, yes, I do get the purses. Um, and I, I usually try to get purses that I really like, like the Lily Blooms and the Sack Roots. And, you know, a couple in between if I see, like, a cool boho purse or something. Now, this one, I was like, okay, I might not love, love, love it, but one of you will. So, it is brand new with the tags. And it is a Brighton. So here it says Love and Joy Pouch. It's got this um, the, this gift holiday gift pouch comes with its own bow. Now you can spread the love and, I don't know, Brighton's own Tom Clancy. Da, da, da. Um... Uh, I don't know what that 
if, oh, I think that's just what this is, the, the purse itself. So it's this purse, okay? The Love and Joy pouch is what it's called. Here's your bow, I guess, that they're referring to. And it says Joy and Love. And then on the other side, it says Love and Joy. And it says Brighton. And then it has Heart and then TC, which is Tom Clancy, I guess. It's got the tag still on it. It's got this big honking um, tassel that it's still like encapsulated in the uh, plastic there. So is the strap. The inside is all these cute little black hearts. The outside is like um, canvas. Okay. And then the inside, it does have an inside zipper. And that's the only other compart the only compartment that's on there. So um, it does say 70% cotton, 30% polyester, and uh, wash in cold water. And so anyhow, that's I just I think somebody else is gonna really like this. I, I think it's cute with all those different colors, but I know Brighton, I know that um, I've bought in some of the empty tins that I found and their, their uh, design or whatever is kind of cute. So I figured you guys would like this. So super cute. And then the last thing that I have, and actually, yeah, is, ah, uh, you know what? I think, I, no, it's a different one. Gosh, I have, I have more in my car, you guys, because I got some boho things that are too big, but that must have been another haul. I don't think so. I think it was the same haul with this, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll show it. Anyhow, look at this, you guys. It's a little, um, I don't know, it says WGT, whatever, but it's a little piece of cruel work, and it's got like these, like, it's like so um, three-dimensional because somebody put a bow on it. And then they also put like these little pom-poms or whatever for the inside of the like daisy, I guess. And, you know, as much as I would say not real crazy about this va uh, this frame, it's perfect for this picture or whatever. So you could just set it on the desk or whatever, or it has a sawtooth hanger and you can set it like that. And I think this is about four by six or four by five. So, so cute. And that is it. So that is actually two hauls, which is why it went over half an hour. Oops. But you know, that's me. So, um, anyway, thank you so much, you guys, uh, for having your Friday morning cup of coffee with me. And, uh, if you are interested in um, any Easter items and you weren't able to go to the sale yesterday, Thursday, go to like the end of it. You know, you can watch the whole thing if you want, um, but go toward the end of it and then watch where I do the recap and you'll see what's still available. And uh, yeah, you can just shoot me an email and say, hey, can I get this? And you can. And then so... Um, I don't know, next Thursday I'm thinking maybe linen. Maybe linen. I feel like I have a lot of linen-y things. Maybe linen and uh, purses. I don't know. Stuff like that. I usually kind of do linen and accessories kind of together. So maybe that's what I'll do next week. Um, next Tuesday on Comfy Cozy Living With, I am having Joelle Nadel on. So if you've ever seen her name um, in the chat, and you know you have, she's the one who I went and stayed with in Northern California. Um, she will be doing her first uh, YouTube live sale. And she also uh, does post on Instagram. She's uh, part of the ISN. So uh, you'll, you know, kind of get a, an idea of uh, who she is if you have seen her items before. 
So she's going to be on next Thursday, next Tuesday. And then I, I'm sure I'm going to get this out of order, but I think I'll, I think I got it right. Cause there's five Tuesdays. So it's, it's going to be Joelle on the first. Then the next week is Claudia K and we're doing, um, glass and cottage core. So I got to beef up on that <laughs> cause I know shabby chic, but I got to get to know exactly the cottage core balance, right? And then uh, the next week is uh, Beth from Sweet Treats and Pretties. And um, so we're doing, I think we're doing some glass too, but you know, probably some pretties. <laughs> and then uh, the week after is Lamar, Lamar Jeffries, who I don't think has done a live sale yet, but he might have one before that booked. And he also is, I believe, selling through ISN on Instagram. So anyway, I can't wait. That should be fun. He is a, a subscriber friend that you guys have probably seen on the sales on Thursdays. And then um, the last Tuesday of March will be Nancy, my... Uh, my <laughs> My first see uh, the the first person that saw me out in the wild and got excited to meet me, <laughs> and now we're friends. And she she sells at the flea market across from me, um, and that's really why I started to. I've always shopped at that antique mall and even there at that little uh, flea market. But then because of her, I'm really going there. And I've loved, I love it. I, I, I know several people there already and I've, I feel like a fit in. So it's fun, even though it's only one day a, a month, it's a lot of fun. And I talked her into doing it and I think she's going to have some really cool stuff. I have told her one item I really want her to bring on because I love it in her booth. And, uh, if you guys are pin cushion people, uh, it's just, uh, I love it so much <laughs> anyway. So that's that, you guys. Um, and uh, make sure you hit the uh, like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. You're just helping me by doing so. And leave comments down below, like what your favorite thing is that I got or what kind of things that you want me to start looking for for you guys. Because I got, a lot of this stuff was for me or for like work supplies, right? So... Anyway, I know lighthouses are something that I know for sure one person that likes lighthouses. <laughs> so anyway, I will uh, talk to you on Monday on my next haul. So have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.